Would the Honourable Minister please proceed with his statement? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, I rise today to recognize the National Day of Mourning on April 28th and to commemorate all the Manitoba workers who were killed, injured, or disabled on the job in 2016. Sadly, Madam Speaker, our province lost 24 men and women to acute hazards and occupational illnesses in 2016. This number represents an immense loss to our families, our communities, our workplaces, and to our province. Manitoba's workforce is a key component of our pro province's success, and everyone deserves to be safe in the workplace. This is why it is so important to ensure that our province's workforce is safe and healthy at work. One way to make Manitoba safer will be to continue to talk to the young people in our lives and share with them the message of safe work and prevention. Compliance with workplace safety legislation is an important part of this effort, as is the broader community of safety organizations. I encourage all Manitobans to make workplace safety and health a priority. As a government, we remain committed to improving occupational health and safety to help prevent workplace injuries and illness in Manitoba. I welcome all Manitobans to attend one of the many ceremonies that will be taking place across the province tomorrow to commemorate these fallen workers. Madam Speaker, following uh, other members' statements, I am seeking leave for a moment of silence. Thank <clears throat> you.